Hey guys, this is Archon speaking, and I just wanted to make this video for you, showing you guys how I've been making gold recently. Uh, so, as you might have realized, the auction house isn't super reliable recently, and so I've been kind of relying on gold pickup instead to get gold, instead of trying to find items that sell for a bunch. And it seems to be working pretty well, so I was just going to walk you through what I've been doing. Uh, I've went ahead and bought a bunch of gold, extra gold from Monsters gear, so you can see almost all my gear has a uh, percentage increase to gold from Monsters. It brings my total gold from Monsters up to uh, 185, and that's before the Nephilim Valor buff, so it can get up to uh, 260 with 5 stacks of Nephilim. I also got 19% movement speed from this legendary ring I found, which gives 7% movement speed. Also, so I don't have to run around picking up gold all the time, I got a bunch of gold and and health globe radius gear. So I have 39 yards of gold pickup, which allows me to just kill stuff and gold just comes to me. And since I had the health globe pickup, I went ahead and also got extra healing from health globes. And I have 11,000, which helps a lot when I'm playing on hell mode. Uh, but for this video, I'm just going to be doing Nightmare, because I've found that I get gold faster plowing through Nightmare than I do in Hell. Just to show you my skills, this build kind of relies on me being an Archon pretty much the whole time. I have pure power to decrease the cooldown. I also got the evo Evocation passive to reduce the cooldown a little bit more. But you really don't need it. With this build you end up being an Archon almost probably about 95% of the time. It's really rare for Archon to wear off and I'm sure you know if you kill someone in Archon it extends the duration by one second but what I didn't realize until recently is you can extend that duration well past the original 15 second duration. Uh, I In this video I'll show you I got up to over three minutes uh, duration on Archon which is awesome. So Act 3 is perfect for this. You're killing guys all the time and your Archon can last pretty much the entire Act. Uh, this also works in Act 4 and you can stay in Archon pretty much the entire time you're in Act 4. The other skills I have, I have three buffs, Magic Weapon, Energy Armor, and Familiar because those all last in Archon and I plan on being Archon all the time. Sometimes Archon lasts too long and they wear off and I'll have to cancel Archon, put them back on and then turn Archon back on. And that's the beauty of it. Usually when Archon wears off, the cooldown of Archon's already done, so you can just put it right back on. Uh, teleport, Wormhole, I just have it on there to move around. Could replace this. And Disintegrate is my one damage sp skill I have for the few times when Archon runs off before the cooldown is up. So I can still destroy guys. And then Glass Cannon, because I'm on Nightmare, why not? And Galvanizing War, just so my armor stays on longer. Uh, when I'm in Archon. And normally I'd have like Prismatic Armor here or something. Uh, I had Force Armor on for doing some Hell Runs, but like I said, Nightmare seems to work out better. So that's my gear and skills, and the idea is just to be in Archon all the time. I just start at the beginning of Act 3, and I go all the way through, and sometimes I do Act 4 as well. You get those Nephilim Valor buffs, and gold find up to 260% and like the title says I usually get at least 200,000 gold an hour uh, sometimes 250,000 and it's a great way to grind out some gold uh, when you're sick of progression runs and you're not having too much luck with the auction house but it seemed to be a pretty easy way to get some gold it's also really helpful if you have some friends that want to level and they join up with you, assuming that they're high enough to be a nightmare. It's actually really fast leveling. Turns out you can totally rush people in Diablo 3. Uh, definitely not to the extent that you could rush people in Diablo 2, but way faster. Uh, the other day I got my friend from level 37 up to level 52 in about 5 or 6 hours, which is definitely faster than I did it when I was doing it with Dreadnought. So, and it doesn't seem to slow down the uh, gold pickup either. It seems like you can get gold just as quickly while your friends tag along.
It seems to work best when I just go straight through the act. I don't take many side paths or dungeon entrances that I don't need to go into. Just because sometimes Archon tends to wear off when I'm backtracking to get back to the main path. So I just stay on. It seems like that's the easiest way to keep killing guys quickly and keep getting as much gold as possible. The only thing I pick up while I'm going is yellows. Uh, because blues just take up so much space you have to be going back to town all the time and it's you just don't get as much gold as if you stay out there killing guys but I do pick up yellows because everyone's probably find a really good one although I usually just end up vendoring most of them because they're lower level yellows anyways but one act three run will usually get me an entire bag full of yellows it's just some extra cash and you get the occasional legendary which is nice uh, the one legendary I'm wearing right now came from uh, one of these runs. But yeah, this is what I've been doing the last few days to get some gold, and uh, I thought maybe it would help you guys. Hopefully you can use this if you're having trouble making some gold, or you just want a change of pace. It's kind of fun plowing through these lower difficulties, and um, and it's worth it, and especially if you have some lower level friends that you can help out, kill two birds with one stone. So I hope this video has helped you out. I'll be posting another video in the next day or two about Act 2 of Inferno, and so stay tuned for that. Please subscribe if you haven't already so you can get our newest videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and please leave some comments below and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks.